Hey, what's here? So today I want to go through some of the best budget players in the game. In this video, I'm going to go through, you know, a lot of what the community says, get their feedback. Some of the max overall, I'm going to say at golds. Obviously, budget cards can come in all shapes and sizes, down to like bronze Andrew Jones with his insane power. Uh, but I, I think I'm going to show mostly golds off, as those are like really going to be a uh, foundational part of your team. Um, obviously, you can grind for different cards like the 89 uh, Pujols in the, the Conquest rewards. You can grind for other things in other places like Team Affinities are great. But these are basically cards that you don't have um, and the ones that you're going to kind of want to go for for different positions of need. So let's take a look at what, right now what the people say. Wait, that's my face on the webcam. Let's turn that off. As we uh, bring up, sorry, I got I got this all kind of screwed up right now. Um, let's bring out what the people say. So I put out a, a tweet asking to the people: uh, Anthony Rizzo, Randy Correa, Correa, and Wade Boggs been nice. So I just kind of want to go through this, show it off before I go through my own list uh, on Twitter. Shout out to you guys for uh, responding. You guys can kind of read on the screen yourself: Buxton and Albies, Charlie Blackman. Throwback Renfro. I know Steve Steven Money is pretty good at the game himself. So that throwback Renfro. Sorry, sorry if you hear the baby in the background. He's currently played. Yerman Mercedes is absolutely insane at catcher. I got to show him off in this stuff. El, uh, Mercedes again. Alfonso and Mustakis. Goldschmidt. Uh, do do not use power swing in this game, guys. Just use contact or just use regular swing. Sorry. With uh, Didi, with Merrifield, Buxton. Buxton, like a lot, of, a lot of solid choices here, and ones that I do definitely agree for, agree with. Rob Dibble, uh, Biggio slaps this guy. Interestingly enough, some so some of this is small, like sample size. Obviously, five games of ranked, not a huge sample size, but seven home runs in that time is pretty good. Cause seven home runs in like you know twenty games is pretty good. So in five games of itself is is pretty nice. Glabor again, Pete Alonso, people with high power, of course, play. J.D. Martinez is tough because of his speed. Adriano Suarez. I've, I've had good luck with Suarez, too. Uh, Badu, Low, Jordan, Cruz, Baez. Yeah, Otani's been a nice pitcher. And if you need to hit with him, he ain't bad there either. Granky, Baez for Joker Kiel. Joker Kiel is going crazy on the affinities right now. Uh, Will Smith's hitting dingers for them. Oh, I hit, I hit a st something. Okay, I didn't do that. Um, Otani. Wait, wait. Dun, dun, yeah, yeah. Shisek, uh, DeJong, Will Smith again, Trout, lol, 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 Gold, Tommy, Mondesi, Muncy, Mondesi's got a really nice swing, good power, Gallo, of course, Gallo's a god, Yaz, Yastrzemski's he's talking about, Kyle Lewis from Shikobi, the Madden, uh, I would say, uh, god, I don't know, he's very good at Madden, he really hasn't played much this year, I haven't seen him stream a whole lot this year, uh, but that's kind of what I go through, alright, let's go through my um opinions and we're gonna go we're gonna go position by position so i did put a cap and i think you know i just want to show you like right away a lot of things a lot of these uh guys i'm going to talk about these prospect cards are kind of glitched out shane baz also sweet another guy that the pirates traded in that uh, archer deal that's going to be a a great player i mean like, this kind of stuff he's kind of expensive right going up to 7k there 98 mile per hour with a slider change curve and then look at the break on his slider which is kind of wild so He's got top end stuff with solid braking. The sad thing is the secondary pitches don't have a huge change in speed, so they're going to come in a lot looking the same. But overall, I mean, when you look at these attributes for these gold cards, you're like, wow, Pena's very well balanced. You got to remember that the, all these things can get plus five on them too. Bush, uh, we got we got uh, Marte here with his solid. Like you really kind of, I think early on in the game before you get to like Hall of Fame legend, if you ever do play a Hall of Fame legend, you really want to kind of like stack power. So look through all these guys, look for guys, you know, I'm kind of skipping all the pitchers there, that have solid power numbers, and the ball just explodes off their bat, and I do think meta is the power gun, obviously contact really helps a lot too, uh, but the ones that I, I think a lot of people are talking about, I'm trying to see if I can't find them here, um, maybe, I, maybe I passed, oh yeah, I, I passed a few of them already, but basically you look down this list and uh, find the greatness, but let's go through position by position, I'm going to talk about at different positions some very solid cards. Kent the Maida's played very well for me. I like that card. Lance Lynn's got a decent pitch miss. I think I've gotten beat up a little bit with him. Um, throw Lucas Giolito. I, I I like he has got a kind of weird uh, delivery. Uh, when I guess to get what against it, I was like, wow, that's kind of hard to see. But when uh, I I pitched him for a game or two, I got kind of beat up. So I don't know about Giolito himself. Um, Clevenger's okay. I think nothing too special on him. Uh, but uh, Blake Snell has really nice, like, uh, from the left side for a lefty if you need him. 
Castillo's got pretty decent stuff too at 97 with a circle change slider sinker. You really want to look for guys with solid sinkers. Sinkers are kind of big. Granky was mentioned, of course, um, but he doesn't have a lot of like uh, heat on his fastball, curveball that comes in uh, like a, like a Cephas, uh, Ephus pitch. Sorry, Corey Kluber, everybody's worst nightmare last year. Sinker, cutter, curve, changeup. Like sinker cutter itself is kind of wild. He's got a 99 movement, 99 movement curve. Oh, that's sorry, control. Movement 99 on his curveball, top top tier movement on his fastball, but really it's a sinker cutter combo. It's too bad the sinker isn't uh, significantly better on the movement like last year, but the sinker cutter combo is probably the best combo in the game this year again. So Corey Kluber is a very solid choice uh, to try and like keep people off with that. I think yeah, Woodruff's okay. I'd say Noah. Uh, I, I don't remember, does Noah have outlier this year or not? He does, yeah, he does have outlier. So if you want to throw a sinker at uh, high velocities, that's pretty nasty. He's also got a change up slider curveball uh, with good control and all that and uh, not the greatest break, so they come in kind of flat. But overall, Noah Syndergaard is a great choice for uh, your starting rotation too. Otani we talked about, he's going for a little bit of uh, stubs right now. Burns is going for a lot of stubs because people think he's going to go up because he's having a good start to the year. Um, that's kind of what I wanted to go through. Uh, you can kind of look through other ones yourself, but basically look for guys uh, with sinkers, right? Uh, Hendrix has got a, a sinker, but it comes in so slow. I don't know. Hendrix is okay, I'd say, and especially guys that are playing up for the day that have like those, you know, inside edge. So let's move off of starting pitchers onto relievers. Um, I know Silver Chapman. I don't know if he's in this one or the closer. I forgot. Um, is a really solid reliever. I think Chad Green's been very good for me. Uh, Taylor Rogers is a, is a nice pitch mix too. I really like this Taylor Rogers sinker slider sweep. That sinker is really nice. Uh, it does keep people off, especially if you need a, a solid budget reliever. Pedro Martinez has done pretty well for me too. Four seam circle slider um, with with decent pitch break on uh, his his pitches right there, and decent per nines also that you really look for. Um, who else has pitched pretty well for me? Keela, I, I mean biased maybe as a, a Bergenite uh, for the favorite team. Yeah, yeah, he's he's okay. Um, that's all I got to say about him. Who else I've used to some extent? Says Darren O'Day's got a weird delivery. Um, Zach Britton's really nice. I really do like Zach Britton. Nabel could go up. He's having a heck of a time right now with the Dodgers. Um, who else? Uh, Prices cards generally give me a little bit of trouble. I don't know about if they give other people trouble, uh, but he's okay right there. Oliver Perez has got that weird sidewinder for the left side. Out of Vino, the same the uh, same thing, but the other side from the right-handed side is a solid uh, like guy to get out righties. But Tanzas is strange because I really do like his slurve, 99 movement on it. But like I feel like over the years, people have played so many Batan faces so many Batanzas cards. So if you were against somebody new, he could really throw some guys off. But I don't mind that. And then Jordan Hicks is obviously, if you look at him, he's got a very fast uh, primary right there. His sinker goes 99, his four seam. But he doesn't really have like a change up in his slider. It's got good movement, but I don't know, kind of like a two-pitch pitcher. Pitcher, a very solid budget reliever for you at that spot. Um, closers, I kind of like a lot of those relievers. Uh, Jansen's okay, I'd say. Uh, uh, Zuna, I, I don't mind Zuna one bit at all with his slurve changer cutter uh, off, the, off that top end um, fastball, especially with the movement on the change of the cutter there being kind of high. Uh, or all this Chapman, like I talked about, always nice, a lefty that can throw 100. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, so I, I think silver relievers you can kind of get away with. Jake Diekman's got a really nice release, too. Castillo throws the ball uh, quite hard, too. I think I think he doesn't have an outlier this year. Last year, I think he had an outlier, if I, if I recall correctly. Uh, but that's it for that. Let's take a look at catchers. My favorite catcher is uh, Euron Mercedes. One of the best catchers in the game. We look at his contact and power, especially when he had plus fives. Those this guy is crazy. Maybe not the greatest at defense, but at the dish, this guy can hit it. I love this Mercedes card. Otherwise, Yasmani Grandal is a great switch hitter if you prefer like having the advantage lefty righty every single at bat. Uh, decent fielder, but awful arm on Grandal. Uh, those are really the two that I kind of recommend for golds if you're gonna go right there. Otherwise, like I said, the prospect cards are always uh, pretty nice. So first baseman, we talked about Muncy there. We went through it. Somebody's really having a lot of luck with Rizzo. I don't like him. I like Muncy quite a bit. Uh, Voight uh, right here has got some good power. Contact's okay. Um, these guys up here are solid. Yeah, obviously you can platoon if you want to go Goldschmidt against lefties and bring in a righty. But Pete Alonzo is 
insane. I love this Pete Alonso card. This should be your number one guy. Pete Alonso should be your starting first baseman if you can if you if you can get him. Matt Olson's a great bench bat off the bench to, to hit a home run against uh, righties. That's a good one too. And then there's some more uh, Gurriel's. Uh, his stats are okay. He's got a better card. Um, double E is good. Po good power too. And then uh, I think Walsh had a good. I had a pretty good run there. I don't know how he's doing right now. I haven't checked up on him in a few days. Um, I really like Ozzy Albies because of his switch hitting. Otherwise, uh, Bush right here has got really attributes. But like, yeah, Albies has played really well for me. I really like this. Sadly, it's you know four thousand studs. Can't really call that a budget so much. Um, Glabor, I know, plays really well for people. Not the best fielder because he's kind of slow. But overall, at the dish, man, does he smack it? If you want like a lefty hitter, Mustakas right there does well against righties. Don't mind him at all. Um, those are kind of my suggestions. Altuve, if you want a contact guy, but it's Altuve. You want to avoid him at all costs. Third and, and every other Astro. Third base, Wade Boggs can get some contact. Same with Molitor, but, you know, Molitor with the speed there ain't bad. Donaldson's got a really nice swing. Jonathan India. Uh, um, Suarez, we saw that in the re recommendations. I've also used this card to great success, too. Turner's got very solid contact. Uh, Bryant against lefties. And let's see. Yeah, that's kind of what I want to go to. I don't know about Moncada. He could maybe go up. Guerrero Jr. could go up with his performance. Might not be a bad one to grab to invest in. I see a lot of people already invested in based off his price versus what the prices are around him. At shortstop, you can go with pure speed with Trey Turner. You can go a little bit more balanced, you know, go to Marte here. Turner's like 9,000 stubs, which is kind of crazy. People do love that speed. Speed is deadly. You can be some bunt cheese right there. Shortstops. Shortstops one of the weaker budget positions, I feel like, for bats at least. Uh, Xander is not bad, I would say. Uh, DeJong always seems to hit the ball well for me. Um, contact there. Maybe just go with like Alberto Mondesi. Go with the raw speed and then somebody that can switch hit and then hope you can get uh, some good contact on it. But he's like in a bottom of the order kind of guy. But basically at shortstop, you're playing all defense right there if you go with Mondesi, which, you know, it isn't a bad thing up the middle to have that kind of top end defense and, and maybe give up on the bat for one position if you really want to go budget and then just pay the 500 stubs for him. All right, left field, you're going to get a good hitter here. Ideally, ideally mix in some speed. So something like J.D. Martinez. It's tough having 43 speed out there, without a doubt. Really good right-handed bat, especially against lefties. Righties, he's okay. You could platoon this spot, too, if you want to, you know, sub in a guy that's great against uh, lefties there while you go him. Stanton is somebody you probably wouldn't have to uh, platoon with his power. Pretty decent against both of them. Of course, he's got a really large uh, strike zone, so that's tough. Uh, but overall, there's there's a few different spots. You could platoon Jordan and, and J.D. Martinez if you want, if you want to go lefty, righty there. Uh, but do people say they've had some success with him too? McCutcheon's okay, I'd say. I don't really love him that much. Um, so if you had to choose one, choose one. I might go with. I don't know. Can I can I sacrifice Jordan? I mean, he'd be one of my lefties in the lineup um, for 37 speed. Same with like uh, J.D. Martinez. If I want a hot, solid hit of writing, it'd probably be one of those two. Um, for if I had to choose one, otherwise Azuna, who's a little bit more expensive, is is pretty is a little bit better, well rounded. Because you do not want to be giving up doubles as much as you will with, with a lot of those slower guys. Center field, you can go pure speed with Buxton. I don't mind that at all. Um, he's a very solid player. I really like this Kettle Marte car because he's a switch hitter. Ketel, sorry, I always mispronounce his name. Starling because of uh, my pirate love. I'm not going to recommend him though. Um, I would say a very solid card here with the, the, the uh, Randy. 81 speed out there. Sure, he doesn't have great fielding or reaction, but... He's a pretty decent bench for a, for a guy with a decent speed, too. Luis Robert, decent speed, but not the greatest hit tool. Um, so at, at center field, if you don't want to go someone with the, the raw speed of Buxton, you want to go with somebody maybe a little cheaper, too. Um, maybe a pretty balanced uh, Duran here is a very nice card there for center field. But that's, you know, like I said, expensive. Um, somebody cheaper, maybe Dylan Carson uh, wouldn't be a bad card uh, if you're not going to go with Randy. Uh, if you're gonna, if you need somebody a little cheaper for the 1,000 stubs. Otherwise, uh, you know, I talked about that Andrew Jones before. Gallo is, you know, all power, but look, look at his arm. That's crazy. Dudes will not be able to run on you. Throw him in right field. His 51 speed isn't gonna chase down a lot of balls. Nelson Cruz, a great bat, probably the best bench bat that you want on your on your team for a nice affordable like 2,900 uh, stubs. 
but the speed starting in the outfield is really risky. He's not going to track down almost any ball, so it's really tough putting 15 speed out there. Uh, Jay Bruce just retired. Uh, he had a good career. Mancini's got a pretty balanced uh, stats across the board. Yastrzemski's very good against lefty, which is weird because he himself is a lefty, so he's got like reverse split. Blackman's got a nice um, swing and pretty good, you know, attributes right there. But again, 46 speed, you're losing a little bit. Like you gotta lose, you gotta, you gotta uh, take a little bit of a, a, a down to something, right? The, the gold cards can have great everything. Castellanos is is kind of cool. Plus he's a little bit of a meme, so that's fun. Hunter Hunter Renfro there, some good power against lefties. But overall, I think Joey Gallo is easily the choice here, unless you want to put him at like third base or something. I think this would be my choice for right field. You can look to a little bit less expensive if you want to go deeper. I don't like I don't really like Hayward at all. Um, Metals maybe Metals gets better. You might get him for investment purposes. Um, Solar is not bad at all either with his his power stats. So if you only want to spend two hundred uh, gold right there or stubs on a silver. That's not a bad spot, and I do believe that is it. Those are my budget players uh, for each position. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, what your favorite budget guy is right now. I appreciate that. Please thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Otherwise, please like, subscribe. I already said like. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.